watching Mrs. Riley's maths videos and um, I'm just fixing my screen here. Um, what we're doing is we're doing algebra revision at the minute and I am looking now in this sixth video at solving inequalities and plotting the solution set. So what we have here is we have uh, 11 examples today. The first few are just to remind you about a couple of things. So the first thing that I want to remind you of is that when we are dealing with solving inequalities, it's important to know what types of numbers could be our answer. So if you remember, N stands for natural numbers, natural numbers, which are things like 0, 1, 2, well actually 0 is not counted, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's positive whole numbers, positive whole numbers, okay? Z, if you remember, stands for integers, which refers to positive and negative whole numbers. So minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and then going on infinitely in either direction. And of course, the natural numbers go on infinitely um, on the positive side. And then we've got R, which equals real numbers, which is basically any number you can think of. Now, as you progress uh, through maths, you'll know that we come across imaginary numbers or compl and complex numbers, but they're not included in these inequalities. So any number you can think of, so it could be a decimal, could be a root, it could be a fraction, it could be a whole number, positive or negative, any of those. If you remember with plotting them on number lines, natural numbers have dots, Integers have dots and real numbers have solid lines. And if you remember, though maybe you won't, if uh, we had a way of remembering that, noses, so natural numbers and integers have dots and roads, real numbers have roads. Okay. So that's the first one. Second one, how do we how do they look those inequalities? So an inequality basically allows us to cover multiple answers to a particular question. So if I said to you, um, what are the ages of students in high school? There's not just one answer. There's loads of different ages at this stage of the year, ranging from 12 all the way up to 19. So inequalities allow us to plot something like that, a range of numbers. So in this case. Uh, for 2, we're talking about x is less than 4, x an element of n. So how would I plot that inequality? I put 4 here, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And if you notice, I, I put the number that's at the center of my inequality in the center of my Venn, di of my Venn diagram, of my inequality, my number line. x is less than 4. So here's 4, less than 4 is going to be this side of 4, and x is a natural number. So I'm thinking of the positive whole numbers that are less than 4. So 3 is included, 2 is included, 1 is included. 0 is not included, included in natural numbers, and 4 is not included because it's x is less than 4. So it's only those that are less than 4, it doesn't include 4. The next one. So this is x is greater than or equal to minus 3. x is greater than or equal to minus 3. x is an element of z. So z is integers, positive and negative whole numbers. Minus 3 is going to go in the middle. Minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. X is greater than or equal to minus 3. So gr here's minus 3. Greater than minus 3 is going to be on this side. Greater than or equal to minus 3 means we include minus 3. It's positive and negative whole numbers. So I'm going to put a dot. They're whole numbers, so only the whole numbers are included. So I'm going to put dots on each of those numbers. Okay, the arrows at either end say mean it goes on forever. Question 4. X is less than or equal to 5 x is an element of r. So again, draw your number line, put your number here in the middle. So there's 5. Put your numbers either side. 
using the squares as a guide. And x is less than or equal to 5, so 5 is included. Now, x is an element of r means I have to include every single possible number that's less than or equal to 5. And to show that I'm doing that, I shade in the line. So I make a solid line here to show I'm including all the decimals, all the square roots, all the fractions, and so on. And it's going to go on beyond 0 and on the other end. Now, just remember, if it, if it had been x is less than 5, then I'd have put 5, and I would have put an empty circle because 5 is not included, and then I would have done that. So if, if it's x is less than 5, it's an empty circle. If it's less than or equal to 5, it was a full circle. Okay, question 5. Here's question 5, and I'm wondering what inequality is represented by this. So minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And what's coloured in here is an empty circle around 3 and a solid line to the left of 3. So solid line means real numbers. So it's an x, an element of r. It's to the left of 3, so it's less than 3, and it doesn't include 3. So the inequality is going to be x is less than 3, x an element of r. Question 6. Again, I've got um, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, something like that. The dots are on 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So it's dots, so it's going to be or it's going to be z or n, but it includes negative numbers, so it must be z. So it's dots and negative, so it must be x an element of z. It's 1, 0, 0. So there's two possible options. Either it's including 1 to the left of 1, so it's less than 1. So it's less than or equal to 1. Or it's not including 2, so it's less than 2. So two options. x is less than or equal to 1. x is an element of z. Or x is less than 2 x is an element of z. Okay, let's work through the other ones then. 4x minus 5 is less than or equal to 11. x is an element of n. When you're solving inequalities, you treat them like they are equations. You follow the same rules. So we want all our x's on one side and all our numbers on the other. So I'm adding 5 to both sides. 4x is less than or equal to 16. Then I'm dividing by 4, divide by 4, so x is less than or equal to 4. It's natural numbers, so we put our 4 in the middle. 5, 6, 3, 2, 1. So it's less than or equal to 4. But it's natural numbers, so it's 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay? Question 8. A little bit closer to make these clearer. Question 8. 5x plus 7 is less than 17. x is an element of r. So 5x plus 7 is less than 17. x is an element of r. So again, let's subtract 7 from both sides so that we've just got x's on one side and, and numbers on the other. Divide by 5, divide by 5. So x is is less than 2. So I'm going to draw my number line, put 0 in the middle, no 2 in the middle, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 0, minus 1. Now it's x is an element of r, so it's going to be a road. x is an element of r, so it's x is less than 2, so it's going to be to the left of 2. It's less than 2 and it's a road, so I'm going to put an empty circle around 2 and I'm going to shade to the left of 2. x is, an is less than 2, x an element of r. Okay, question 9. 3 minus x is greater than or equal to 4. 
x is an element of or again. So this is a bit weird because I've got a negative x here. But what I'm going to do is I'm still going to get my x's on one side and my numbers on the other because this is actually going to help me to remind you of something else. Minus x is greater than or equal to 1. If I want to make that a plus x, so normally in equations we just divide by negative 1 on both sides. If I divide by negative 1, that would become x and that would become negative 1. 1 divided by minus 1 is minus 1. Remember, I have to then change the direction of the inequality. So when I divide by a negative or multiply by a negative, I have to change the direction of the inequality. Okay, so x is less than or equal to minus 1. These are all less than, which is a bit of a pain, but anyway, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. And x is an element of r, and x is less than or equal to minus 1. So I'm going to put a dot on minus 1, and I'm going to go to the left of minus 1, and I'm going to include the minus 1 because x is less than or equal to minus 1. I'm going to draw a road because it's real, um, real numbers. Okay. Number 10. Number 10 was 5 minus 2x is greater than or equal to minus 7. x is an element of z. So again, I'm going to subtract both 5 from both sides because I want just numbers on one side and x is on the other. So Minus 2x is greater than or equal to minus 7. Minus 5 is minus 12. Now I'm dividing both sides by a negative number. I'm going to get x is less than or equal to. This has to change direction. x is less than or equal to 6. Minus 12 divided by minus 2 is plus 6. Draw a number line. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 in the middle. 6, 7, 8, 5, 4, 3. x is less than or equal to 6. And it's integers, so just dots on all these whole numbers. And question 11, minus 5 is less than or equal to 3x plus 1 is less than 7, x an element of r. Now I'm going to have to split this into two. This is called a compound inequality. Sorry about that, moving it over. Sorry. Compound inequality. So I'm going to deal with minus 5 is less than or equal to 3x plus 1 first. And then I'm going to deal with minus with, and then I'm going to deal with three x plus one is less than seven. So let's deal with this first part. Um, subtract one from both sides. Minus six is less than or equal to three x. Divide both sides by three. Minus two is less than x. Three x plus one is less than seven. So so that first one I did here was this, and now this one here is this. Okay. 3x plus 1 is less than 7. Subtract 1 from both sides. 3x is less than 6. Divide both sides by 3x is less than 2. So my solution is that minus 2 is less than, sorry, I should have had an equal there, less than or equal to x, which is less than 2. And x is an element of r. So in other words, if I was to draw this, I'd have to go from at least minus 2 so minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Minus 2 is less than or equal to x. So minus 2 is included. Plus 2 is not included. So empty circle around plus 2, a full circle around minus 2, and then fill in the road in between. Okay. Now, if you want to try one, um, I'll put two questions up here. And you can give them a go. Okay, so here's three for you to try. Pause the video now, give them a go, and I'll work through the solutions. So here's the solution, uh, the solution to those three questions. 5x minus 2 is less than or equal to 8. First of all, adding 2 to both sides. So 5x is less than or equal to 10, dividing both sides by 5. So we have x is less than or equal to 2. It's z, so it's integers. So we're going to have to make sure that we use positive and negative numbers in our answer. That's still a little bit, oh, that's better, a little bit out of focus. So draw my number line 
and put two in the middle, three, four, five, six, one, zero, minus one, minus two, minus three. X is less than or equal to two, which means that two is included. So I can put a dot on two. It's integer, so it's positive and negative whole numbers, and it's less than, so it's to the left of two. So I'm going to do dots all the way down to the left of that. Okay. Question 13. Minus 3x minus 5 is greater than or equal to 7. So I'm going to add 5 to both sides. Minus 3x is greater, sorry, is greater than or equal to 12. So I'm going to divide both sides by minus 3. So that's going to be x. Remember, I've divided by a negative number, so I have to change the direction of the inequality. So it's going to be 12 divided by minus 3 is minus 4. So x is less than or equal to minus 4. Draw my number line, put minus 4 in the middle, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, and so on. x is less than or equal to minus 4, so minus 4 is included, and it's real numbers, so it's to the left of minus 4. Okay, minus 5 is less than 4x plus 3 is less than or equal to 11. I'm going to split it into two inequalities. Minus four, 5 is less than 4x plus 3. So I'm going to add, so I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. Minus 8 is less than 4x. Divide by 4, divide by 4. x is there and minus 2 is there. So minus 2 is less than x is the left hand side. 4x plus 3 is less than or equal to 11, so that's where I'm getting that from. Subtract 3 from both sides, 4x is less than or equal to 8, divide by 4, divide by 4, x is less than or equal to 2. So what we have is minus 2, is this the same one as I did before? No, I don't think it is, it just looks coincidental. Minus 2 is less than x, is less than or equal to 2. So we're going to have minus 2. 2 down here, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it's going to be minus 2 is less than x, so minus, minus 2 is not included, because it's minus 2 is less than x, plus 2 is included, so it's going to be plus 2, and it's between those two, and it's real, so it's all the numbers, so I do a solid road between minus 2 and plus 2. Okay, I hope that's helpful.